everyone. I'm making a video on heat transport, feed, bleed, and relieve system. I have uh, this training manual with me, and I'm gonna go through this training manual. And on top of that, I have a great uh, flow sheets like this one. And I'm this is just one of them that is opened up right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually open up the other ones and show you uh, in detail the whole system which is pretty cool um, so to give you a brief overview of the heat transport system pretty much uh, whatever heat that is produced in the fuel channel um, the heavy water takes care of uh, that heat it removes the heat from the fuel channel to provide sufficient cooling um, it acts as a coolant it is a pressurized he uh, system uh, pressure the heavy water is pressurized up to 9.5 MPA and the temperature is uh, we'll go through the numbers later on uh, but the temperature temperature is in the range of 250 degrees Celsius I don't know I forgot the in and out number but the heavy water takes the heat from the fuel, fuel channel and then that heat goes to the it uh, exchanges the heat uh, from the heat exchange from the heavy water to the light water and then there is steam generation in the steam generator and then the steam goes to the uh, turbine and then the electricity is pretty produced but uh, the purpose purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the feed bleed and relief system um, uh, this is a simplified diagram of the uh, heat transport system you can see this is the heat transport system this is the pressurizer this is the storage tank this is the bleed condenser and the this is the bleed valve and don't look at this diagram I'm gonna go through I'm gonna open up the the uh, original the good one the full diagram and I'll go into I'll go in detail um, and explain you guys the whole process um, so pretty much heat transport system uh, transfer heat from reactor fuel to where various heat sinks provide cooling for our for the fuel uh, provides a pressure vessel boundary for heavy water uh, on the other hand feed bleed and relief system which is part of the heat transport system uh, control reactor overhead pressure for all normal and solid mode operation prevent heat transport from exceeding pressure limits um, control pressure either level so, so that Heat transport will be maintained full and pressurizer level kept above the heaters during pressure reducing events such as setback and step back Pro provides flow path for heavy water entering or exiting the heat transport system so inventory requirements are met in normal and solid pressure control modes provide flow path out of the heat transport system for heavy water purification and pressure relief provides cool clean ha high pressure heavy water for heat transport pump gland seal circuit flow injection system during refueling and various safety system test circuits um, so the heat transport system you already know it I'm not gonna read this out I'm just gonna go through the go to the uh, feed bleed and relief system um, so pretty much uh, this is actually pretty important uh, prevent heat transport system from exceeding pressure limit uh, the relief component of the system operates to prevent exceeding pressure limits by responding with the assistance of other safety systems SDS1, SDS2 said step back to return pressure to normal after pressure increasing transient events loss of regulation loss of boiler feed etc preventing overpressure da damage to the reflux feed line by relief 
relieving to the heavy water storage tank tie line, providing pressure relief and solid mode for the pressurizer in the event equipment heater remaining on on a control pressure failure results in a high pressure transient to provide over pressure protection when either the heat transport system or pressure either are tied to the bleed condenser by relief relieving to the vault holy uh, control pressure at the level so that the heat transport system will be maintained full and pressure at the level kept above the heaters during pressure reducing events such as setback or <coughs> step back the level in the pressure either pre presents inventory that is immediately um, available to the heat transport system if an event were to cause the heat transport pressure to drop so it takes care of any event that is reducing pressure uh, either step back, set back, or SDS one trip. So the level con the level control scheme purpose to control pressure at the level. Uh, it provides flow pad for. I'm just gonna make a couple of parts for this video. Uh, 